Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go visit some of these realms that we have already been to, but there are a couple realms that are actually still useful to us. We're going to start off with Remy, so let's get to it. Here we are at Remy's. Now, what I've done, I've already been here before and I've already planned this out. So I bought a bunch of stuff and then I started making things and then all the stuff that I had left, I dropped it on the floor. That way you can just pick it up when you come back. You don't have to go through the whole process of like picking things out. I mean, cause that's more time consuming than this. And once you've picked up all of your food from the floor which is so unsanitary but you know it's pretend so it's fine <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and start cooking things you can only cook with the items that are in Remy's restaurant you can't cook with anything else so you have to find recipes that you can cook with this stuff but there is a reason why I'm showing you this so we're gonna go over to the oven First things first, you want to know what you're you're going to cook with this stuff because like I said, you only have the items that are in Remy's restaurant to use. So be prepared when you go here because you want this process to go fast. All right. You want it to go fast. There's a lot of things that you can't make, but there are a lot of, there's actually a five star item, a five star food dish that you're going to want to make every time you come here because all the ingredients are free. There is like no cost associated with this and you can drop stuff on the floor and just pop in here anytime to grab it. And the reason we'd want to do this is to build up your stamina. Like the green salads, two star. That's great. But let me just show you what isn't two star and what would be the best thing to make and just make a bunch. Full disclosure, I went through a lot of recipes and before I actually remembered this particular recipe and it's a recipe that we learned in this realm and I should have remembered it. Let me show you what that is. It's ratatouille. Ratatouille, ratatouille. I don't know how you pronounce it. That's what it is. It is a five star meal. All of the ingredients are in your restaurant or your realm restaurant and you can make a bunch of these. It's free. <laughs> Just make a bunch. Do it all in one sitting. Make a whole lot of these before you leave the restaurant or that realm. Drop them all on the floor. Drop all your ingredients on the floor and leave. And you can come back anytime. Anytime you want. All you've got to do is go to your map view. At the bottom of your map, you will find a little shortcut that shows you exactly what key to press to either travel to different biomes or the different realms. It's a really quick access. It gets you in and out, well, actually in quick, and this little restaurant's really quick to get in and out of because it's small. So it takes barely no time at all. As long as you drop everything on the floor and get out, and anytime you need it, you come back, and you'll see in my little screen here that all of those items that have Remy on them, they're all items that you have to drop, okay? You'll know which ones you have to leave behind because they'll be marked like that. And if you leave with them, they will disappear, okay? So don't leave with them and think you can come back and drop them. You have to drop them while you're still there. And every time that you go to increase your stamina, I recommend eating like I use the gooseberries, I think they are. You want to make sure that you eat four of those and then come for your meals because that's the way the stamina you can actually save. You can save food by doing this. So that's just my, my tip for the day. All right. So once you've dropped all your stuff, now you can leave Remy's. And now I'm going to show you quick how to jump from realms and biomes really quickly. So when you're in your map view, you want to look down there in the far right corner. You see fast travel. Mine's a T because I'm on the computer, but yours might be different. Especially if you're using like an Xbox controller on your computer, that's going to give you the Xbox, you know, Xbox controls or the Switch controls or whatever you're using. And then once you do this, you can click Village or Realms. And when you click Realms, you just click on the realm you want to go to. 
we're going to head to Frozen right now. A quick tip before we move on, and I don't think I said this earlier, make sure your pockets are empty because when I started this video and this section, I forgot to empty my pockets. So I had a whole bunch of stuff and I had to leave and go all the way back to my house and do all that. Don't forget to do that. All right, let's go check it out. This realm is so beautiful, honestly. I I love the red flowers. I love the fall trees. I, I'm calling them fall trees. But you can collect garlic. You can break rocks and get stone. And you can also dig up the regular soil in the little ponds in the back. And I'll show you that in a minute. I have noticed a few things. I have gone back into this realm after I've done the initial walkthrough. And I've noticed that there are things that aren't there when you go back. I don't know if there's a certain amount of days that it takes for them to replenish or if it's just you know, one or two times that you can do this and then that's it. But either way, go back and grab this stuff if you haven't. So here's some garlic. We're going to grab that and we're going to take a walk back through here. I always get lost. <laughs> this realm I get lost in. I don't know why. I just do. But let me show you how we can get the rest of the materials. That's if I can find my way, okay? <laughs> All right. There we go. You can see the rocks. And fortunately, we can we never have to leave any tools behind. They're always with us, not like Animal Crossing, which I love Animal Crossing still. I promise I do. <laughs> but what you want to do is just break up all of these rocks, grab the materials, and go out, you know, go about your business. There's a lot here to grab. And like I said before, I did notice that when I came back, most of these rocks were gone. Like they did not come back. So I'm not sure how many times you can do this. And the way to find the soil is you see those little craters? I call them little ponds. I don't know why. But the smaller craters, if you have your shovel in your hand, those will light up and you can actually dig them. So that's what you want to do with the little craters. You want to dig them up and then the soil will come out. I've already done that and I didn't get any, I don't think I got any new craters. I mean, there are a couple new craters there, but I didn't pull my shovel out at this point to do that. But you can see that they're up here in a little bit. You will be able to see that there are some soil samples. I'm going to call them soil samples that have, that I've already dug up. But that's all you got to do to get those. And they're regular soil. They're not the... Remember how hard the other soil was to get when the one update came out? And now now all of a sudden we can't find the regular soil anywhere. Now you can craft it using the other soil. Or what is it? The rich soil? You can do that. But you can't actually... You know, you can't actually get it anywhere anymore for some reason. At least I can't. So this was the only place I found that I could find the regular soil. And I even dug up the ground a little bit just to see if that did it. So don't do that. That doesn't work. But this is where you want to dig up the craters. When they're highlighted, just go ahead and dig them and you will get some of that soil. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you that there was actually other things we could do with these realms. A couple of these realms anyway that maybe you didn't know we could do because I know I didn't and I was really excited when I found out not that I needed any more stone but you know I hope you enjoyed this quick tips and tricks video and if you did make sure you click on the next video on your screen right now and I'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching bye